Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we are taking a look at SMCI stock technicals analysis. Let's identify what is the price action telling us and what are the areas of potential moves that may come and what are those confirmation levels, where is the structural break if that happens, what are those areas. So we'll talk about all of that guys in this video once I let you know that none of this is any financial advice. This is only for education purposes, okay? You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. All right. So starting off with where we left off the last time on Super Microcomputer was, guys, when this pivot formed right over here, and I said that, guys, we are forming a higher low. And um, also once this green candle formed and went above 20 days moving average, you know I closed my short position. And we, yeah, the structure was turning bullish again. And I talked about it that, guys, this thing can run up to the next areas after breaking $855, the next significant level of 912 and so forth. We went to our next significant level at 972 as well. Now, then we started to sell off, all right, which is fine. I, I said that, guys, the sell off is fine. Intraday, it can be traded short. That's fine. However, on the swing side, this is just a pullback in the continuing uptrend. And what are we getting? And I said that as long as we are holding above 855, this is just a pullback. This is not a break of structure, this sell-off that is coming. And we are still doing that. So this is just a pullback, now turning back again to the upside. Structure, yes, is still bullish on super microcomputer. So let's go to the hourly interval. And that's what I said, that your reload times in these positions is into these pullbacks, right? So let me just real quick add as well something here on my indicator. All right, so uh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, guys, and yes, the structure as on intraday as well, the pullback is completed. And you can see that uh, we have been getting bought back up at this particular level of 870. Today also, when we dipped closer to that area, we got bought back up. That tells you that on the swing side, that pullback as it was happening, that is completing its course. And then with the break of the levels to the upside, we are continuing higher. You can see we got above our significant level of $910 here. And once we got above that, we a little bit sold off back again to 20 and 50, but then got bought back up. Now, the thing is that structure is full on on swing still bullish and on intraday already that pullback has marked its completion. The other ways for you to know that this pullback is coming to a completion is when you start to see these uh, wicks forming, these uh, green candle coming in and taking out the red candles. And most apparently, it's clear on the daily interval. Actually, you can see when we are all we are already in this upward structure. And I have been saying this is such a huge demand candle that this will just be a pullback as long as we hold up of 855. And I said that expect I expect this pullback to just get bought back up into this dip, and we are getting that now. Uh, we we have more likelihood of continuing higher in the structure what we have. Technically, times to buy into the pullbacks. You already know that if you have been following my videos and I expect this thing to continue to 971 again, we are above 50 days moving average at least off right now. Market still has almost just shy of two hours before it closes. Um, if, again, like guys, anytime if we sell off, let's say tomorrow, we reject 50 days moving average again, but we still are above 20 days and 855, I will still constitute that structure is still bullish. This is such a strong demand candle and a breakout above a strong resistance of $855 that uh, I don't think this thing just breaking now below that easily. But anyways, have a stop loss regardless. Nothing is guaranteed in stock market. And yeah, this thing, in my opinion, has a room to continue higher. Where are the structure breaks on, first of all, intraday? Where will I consider that, okay, intraday weakness is coming and then we have to wait for the more pullback? If SMCI start to lose the level of 910 on hourly interval and also 901, then I would say, guys, okay, some more cool off may come, then we have to wait 200 hours moving average catching up. Otherwise, uh, otherwise no, it's just gonna continue forming these pivots 
and we have to see if it continues to go higher and higher right so yeah as all in all guys structure is still bullish and i'm not seeing any weakness on the uh, at least for now where the price action is and technically as i said pivot this these are the areas of the pivot and then positions needs to be taken closer to these change of structure as to the upside right and with the confirmed pivot and then accordingly take partial profits out here you can reload in this pullbacks with the stop loss on the other side and i i do see structure remaining bullish on this unless we break below 855 all right guys that's it easy peasy for this video um for smci and with that i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye